Hello, welcome to uh, Blizzard Reads. Here, this is on a uh, Euronymous. How the fuck? Euronymous? Oh no. So, yeah. Before the video starts, I would like you to pause and go to the link and read along with me. So, here. Euronymous, real name, Oisin Arasath. That was the famous the guy who took his ex singer's brain pieces and skull fragments and made stew and necklaces out of them. As the guitarist has a popular <laughs> Norwegian black metal band, Mayhem, claimed by many to be true Dark Lord's black metal, he was involved in the release of several albums as pure fucking American on Death Crush and Demis the Sleed, the Satanas. Unfortunately, his career with the band was cut short and completely burdened by Varg Vikernus. No, Vikernus, I don't know. I was known as Cart Gritch, Count Gritch, Greven, or simply Brism. Musical influences. <clears throat> Aristoth was greatly influenced by the other guitars. Dave Halasoff, Robert Johnson, former artist, crossover guy, Gypsy Jazz sound. It's particularly obvious through his work. He's also known by having a great re enjoying his big band jazz is all with his solo black. Bebop Booing Niggas, released in 1986. Ramus <laughs> <laughs> was a regular user in Necro Space, search of a black MySpace. <laughs> We're the only black metal artists, and fans could chat and swap information about their favorite type of music. It was here that he and Varg first met after Varg uploaded some of his music to the site. Eurampus believed Varg could be much older than he actually was, or at least so he claimed his defense of there being change of an online grouping of a minor friction be between the two of an event. Even at his early stage, during a heated row on the site's chat room, Eurampus accused Varg of only having three people on his friend list. Varg then claimed that Uramus, although Eurampus had... Hundred friends of ne ne necro space. He had no real friends. The flame war continued for some weeks until both were temporarily banned by necro space admin. During the bans, the pair continued to converse on MSN Messenger and discovered a shared interest in making models out of matchsticks. <clears throat> McDonald's. You almost in Varg met on a Saturday afternoon at McDonald's. <laughs> you almost ordered a Big Mac with fries and a strawberry milkshake. Whereas a Varg opted for chicken nuggets and the same flavor milkshake as friend. However, when they got to their table, two chums were horrified and discovered that the member of the staff who had taken the order had been so busy laughing at their makeup. He had got the order wrong. You almost was fine, but Varg had been given some like. Look, she can say, I don't want this nigger milkshake. Varg complained, it's going to rob me. <laughs> Euramus was upset for his new friend and worried that he might about to cry. In the beautiful display, altruistic selflessness, he swapped the milkshakes over, allowing Varg to drink his. Even though he hated the chocolate milkshake too after the meal, two went on the cinema and watched Ernest Saves Christmas before long. They have became best friends were inseparable. They have even worked on magic models together. A scale representation of a traditional Norwegian style stave church will they built in Yuramas' bedroom in his parents' house. Yuramas was a mother was a liberal for thinking parent who believed that young people should be introduced to alcohol in the home environment so that they can learn from an early age, you can see it responsibly. And so, Yarmus and Varg were allowed to have two cans of Haikin Ladger, although not drunk. After drinking his cans, Yarmus was sufficiently tipsy to think it might be fun to set light the matchstick, matchstick church. Varg was not so keen that he had earlier this evening. He declared it to be the best model I've ever made. However, as Jeromus was older, Varg would go along with anything his friend suggested. The church was also been taken to the 
guarded and burnt. More falling outs. <clears throat> the following day, Varga noticed people giving him funny looks once or twice. He passed by the people and knew him in the street. He was certain that he heard of the word thief under their breath. This puzzled him, and he went to see Uramus and tried to find out what was going on. However, Uramus' mom told him that her son was not home. Feeling lonely, Varga decided to go watch some cartoons on TV. But he, as he walked away from Yarmus' house, he turned back and saw the curtains of his front bedroom twitch. Yarmus had been on all along. He was just avoiding him. That evening, Varg signed on in Necro space and found Yarmus in the chat room. At first, Yarmus wouldn't tell him what's been going on, but eventually he came out. After Varg left that night, they burnt church. They burnt the church. Yarmus had discovered that some of his Pokemons were missing. Not just any Pokemons, either his spirit ones. Varg tried to vain and convince that he hadn't taken them anyway. He already had those ones, so why would he steal them? It was no good. Yoramas had made up his mind and Varg was a thief. He had convinced everyone on Echo Space that this was the case. Varg signed up to chat and cried himself to sleep. The next day, Flame Ward started up again. Never... To take an insult lightly, Varg told the people on the site, site, site when he had seen Rama's house, he had seen gay pornography, gay porn magazine hidden in his wardrobe. Rama's then countered on by saying Varg pissed his pants every day at school. Varg went on stating that Rama's had a collection of Care Bears and someone else in the chat room staying up. Rama said maybe they actually belong to his sister. Varg pointed out that Rama's didn't have a sister. Real insults were not enough. Soon, the argument became an all-out war. Iramis placed a paper bag full of shit on Varg's doorstep and set on fire before ringing the doorbell and running away. Varg wrote Iramis sucks cock for one kroner on the wall on the local shopping mall. Iramis crept out one night and toilet papered the tree in Varg's front garden. The next time the two met, it got physical. He fought back although Varg was younger and he fought hard, giving Aramis a black eye. However, in the end, it was an older boy who was vicious, pinning Varg head to the ground as a black murderer white right I am gay on his head. His friends and he made Varg walk around the mall the rest of the afternoon without letting him go to the toilet to wash it off, and then forced him to force him to walk past the girl of Varg rule of life. He swore Nick Saxbury Play revenge. That night, Varg and his friend Snor Rudge, silly names, appeared in a recording meeting Black Metal to drive him around Yorama's house. When he got there, he stabbed Yorama's twice in the head five times, then next 16 times in the back. Varg was soon arrested and he bragged the murder of the Necro Space. However, he was getting elated by the time by the judge who realized it was another example of a woman who got carried away after playing too much violent PlayStation games on Dungeons and Dragons. The case was summoned up perfectly by Yorama's mother when she made up the city. Man, the boys will be boys and we all crazy ones. You dig?